Hey man, what's going on? It's your boy, you know who it is, B Berg. Just really want to just jump on here. Um, shout out to my man, Mr. Black Authority, Jason Black for the breakdown of the NY article. I had I actually listened to his breakdown of his broadcast. I had to go back to that article and reread the entirety of it. Um, definitely respond on Twitter to to the writer of that article that said there was some hostilities of 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 AOS in there, and there's some some things that was leaked to myself as propaganda. So I mean, I had to definitely make that a light. I wasn't as thrilled that article as well, but like I said, sometimes good publicity is also bad publicity. Is bad publicity still good publicity? So. Um, but I'm kind of wishing it needs to be, it needs to be rewritten. Um, that's what I would say. I think for the editor approving it, I think, uh, to me, that was, um, that was something to, to take, take account of. Um, sorry, man, just came, just, just got done jogging a little bit. So, um, but yeah, I also want to give a shout out to Mr. Uh, Representative, House Representative, Bobby Rush was stepping out, speaking out against Comcast on their Supreme Court. Uh, basically, wanted to dismantle the, of the nineteen, I mean the eighteen sixty six uh, Civil Rights Acts. Um, definitely, that one it needs to be broken up or heavily investigated, but broken up. I agree more. I don't think any corporation or business should have the power they could actually challenge the Constitution in any shape or form. Um, as you know, capitalist uh, capitalism is actually came from a slave society or slave culture, uh, which deemed you know the aristocrats or merchants as the ruler. So you and, and also those are two classes that actually benefit the most of enslavement. So definitely, um, I'm I'm opposed to any type of business voice. That's in politics in general. So definitely for him speaking out against um, Comcast it was a good thing. We definitely need to stand by him because uh, he actually put his neck out there. Um, now the Black Caucus, as you know, a lot of them really ain't saying much um, at all about it. So, and also I want to definitely talk about Hannah Jones. I think she um, was on. She did a lecture or interview lecture. Sit down. And they were talking about the Byron Allen Comcast Supreme Court case, and she just kind of dismissed Allen as the reason of, 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 of why um, Comcast is, 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 is and everything's going after the Civil Rights Act. But she, you know, she didn't know that they Comcast was the one who is taking it to the Supreme Court, not Byron Allen. Because Byron Allen won his, his two uh, federal courts; he won two. Uh, federal courts um, with that appeal, with that case. So, just for her really not knowing, and she's speaking out against. I, it's almost like she don't know enough, man. She don't know enough to even speak on the subject of this of this particular subject. And that's really any type of writers or, or whatever or academia that they don't they don't know really much what's going on. They don't know. With the of the mood of society, or what the oppression really is, or even reparation is, to they don't even, they cannot make that case, and they cannot be the voice anymore to make that case in mind. So that's just what it is. Um, as well, um, I definitely, um, I definitely have uh, um, it's not really much of a critique. I'm pretty much neutral on both camp, all camps. Um, and, you know, Antonio, Missy S, Tariq Nasheed, I'm pretty much neutral in all of them. I follow all of them. Um, there, I think maybe uh, Michi X, is, is she, do she do she do outbursts? Yeah, I think she do a lot of outbursts. Um, but, you know, do she have some valid points? And Tariq, I think she did too. Uh, Tariq, I, I I think he's a you know he's an advocate of black empowerment. Um, now there's some things that could not to redo that 
do kind of take attention of side eyes in a little bit. But now they kind of just also just go on and just being hostile to him or dismissive of him or, or whatever it is. Same way with Antonio Moore. I think Antonio Moore do a, a wonderful job with the with the data. He talks about uh, what the plight of an agenda is and what our our identity is and what our social claim is, like like in fact Cornell. So they all they all have strong suit advocacy. Um, now how they do it is how they do it. Um, I think that, I think this it shouldn't be a discussion because I think to me this is a distraction. This is something that many people in white supremacy also look into. So and they can also nitpick. Um, that New York Times cover article actually took a little bit of pooling from the situation where the destruction is going on right now and put it into the article. So it's, it, so you got to understand, white supremacy is always going to be looking. Um, they're always going to try to be analyzed to actually bring you down at the end. So we definitely got to be very cautious and just, like I said, keep it keep it to a discreet. Like I said, the people, it's really the people's choice of deciding who they're going to go with or who they're going to put their voting in. Um, it's really the people. I mean, all you can do is speak uh, speak to them. It's like leading the horse to the water, but you can't make, make a drink. Same way with the people. You can bring them to the pool of knowledge, but it's up to that person or the people to drink from the pool of knowledge. So... It's, it's, that's really what it is. I mean, I mean, um, I mean, but they're all even from Jason Black to Antonio to Yvette to even Tariq and, and everybody else that's really in the norm of uh, of, of, of black empowerment. B one, you know, everything of AUS. Um, we all have we all have a basically a knowledge of voting is a is a is a catalyst of power. It's actually, uh, like, voting is an evil in exchange. It's like alchemists, you know what I'm saying, uh, to, to make gold or whatever you're trying to do. You got to bring something equal value for it to work. It's kind of like that. Voting is almost like alchemists in a way, uh, in a politic, in, a, in more of a politic sense. So, it basically, it's, it's really what I'm basically saying um, Trump don't really have no black agenda. He said a few good things, but that was actually facts. Um, actual real data historical facts about black America AD West but there's nothing to be um, to talk about you're going to vote for him now are we exercising our power to vote um, for the Democrat or Republican or neither yes we do and sometimes I know in Republican they succeed in low turnouts especially low black voting turnouts so when we and we're very aware of that I'm aware of that. They're aware of that. The main, the main dumb society is aware of that. You know what I'm saying? Immigrants is not going to lead you to the promised land. Their population is too small, and their population is is too fractured. A lot of the immigrants don't even think of themselves as a minority. They some of them think of they're part of the dominant society. So you're going to have that fraction right there, at, like at all level. Um, blackness and what you think of, of what a lot of people in society portray, blackness is a cast of American cast that puts you in the bottom class and also subjugates you in racial oppression, constant racial oppression. That's in all form of aspects, sectors of American society. Many black foreign know that. A lot of immigrants know that. That's why they have are almost an underlying undercut towards American descent of slavery. Just because of that notion of what they know. Now there is some allies of that's non ADOS that that speak out against oppression, racial oppression, and also speak out for ADOS. So you do have certain allies to it. Um but yeah, I mean like I said this um, that's really where I want to really jump in on. I mean, like I said, white supremacy is on the move. Like I said, white supremacy is a coalition. It's not just made up of white people and racist white people and hoodie, KK, whatever. It's, 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 it's more diverse than that. It's really actually very diverse than that. 
Um, like I said, you had the Kansas City voting down the MLK sign for one of his historic streets. That actually was the um, origin of gentrification and uh, actually a cast away of black residents that lived in that area before that road was built. Um, so you you have, you know, white supremacy is, is a coalition of many, many different fractions of groups that also have a very, oh, not that it's legitimate, but they have a solidarity to be against uh, black Americans or ADOS or foundation. So you have that type of level of oppression and also a, uh, and also a level of sophisticated of a racial caste system. So that's just really what it is. That's really what I want to talk about. And I'll probably hit you guys up real soon in another video. All right, one.